Hi everyone, this is Tina. Welcome back to my Let's Play The Sims 3 Life on the Farm Challenge. Uh, I was planning on having a birthday party for Anthony in this episode. I still might. However, um, <laughs> Helen, she is kind of stir-crazy. We need to get her out of the house for a little bit. And um, Maximus seems to be okay. What are you up to? Looks like you've got a lot of things on your agenda for today. Let's see what Anthony's doing. Anthony's playing with his imaginary friend. Okie dokie. Um, so when Helen is done, I think... Oh, I have her... She's going to... I think I'm going to have her put... Um, some fruits and vegetables in the cart. It's kind of weird to do that now since it's still winter. Maybe we should wait until spring. Hmm. I think I might do that. I think that I will have Helen go out somewhere. Where can we have Helen go? Um, just for a little bit. Do we have anything that we can sell? Um... I don't think so. Uh, we could sell some of our potions but I don't know that I want to do that we do have a lot of fruits and vegetables here that we could sell we do need to start selling our, our fruits and vegetables actually hmm I think I'm actually gonna have her go down to the lo to the um, the grocery store and buy a lottery ticket um, I know that they're not supposed to make money any other way other than farming, but if she buys a lottery ticket and wins, then I'm going to say that that is okay uh, because it's all based on chance. And then hopefully that will get her stir craziness taken care of. She is just about finished with the garden, I think. And then she can go down and do that. And then, Maximus, <laughs> you are taking care of the bees. How are our bees doing? Are we getting reasonably decent honey? No. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Or maybe is he still feed the bees? Oh, he has to harvest the honey. I think these are all bad before. Let me just go ahead and sell those now. And they all harvest the honey. We'll see if we are doing any better with the honey or not. I'm not sure. We still want to also have Maximus finish the car. Okay, how'd we do? Nice, nice. Okay, good. So that's, that is pretty good. What is this? Sweeten up a dessert. Did we finish teaching him everything that we needed to teach him? Let's just take a look. Um, teach to walk. I think that's the only thing that we didn't finish teaching him. So let's try and finish teaching him that before he grows up, which we will do pretty soon. Maybe today. He actually doesn't grow up until tomorrow, but I'm kind of nervous that Helen is going to go into labor. And then we have two babies. I think we already set up a room up here for him as a child. Yes, we did. So he's got a nice room up here for once he becomes a child. Uh, but we are going to need that crib. So technically, I guess I could always age him up at the last second if she goes into labor. But she's... She is off to get a lottery ticket. Hopefully that will go well for her. And we will maybe possibly win the lottery. We are going to definitely need some additional items for um, the house. If we're going to continue to have children, I'm going to probably continue to have her be pregnant all of the time now. I, we might have multiple children or multiple toddlers at the same time, which will be hard, but I think it's going to be the best way to go 
uh, because I'm not sure how long it'll take to have five five kids total. Maybe we'll have uh, twins or something. Did I ever get her the fertil fertility treatment? I don't remember. Long distance friend. No, but I could do that. I could get her the fertility treatment and then we would potentially have twins which would be good I mean it would be bad but it would be good at the same time because we would get two babies at one time and um, that would be one less one less thing um, yeah let me see should I get her the fertility treatment how much is it I want to say it's like 15,000. Oh, it's 10,000. Well, we have plenty of points. We could get it. Yeah. Uh. But then we have the potential of having six kids. I'm going to do it. We have the potential of having six kids because if she has twins and then she has twins again, because she already has Anthony, she's pregnant with a second child. So she could have twins the third time around, and she could have twins the fourth time around. So we'll see. Maybe, maybe not. Let's have her take a shower when she gets home. Hopefully, um, he will learn to walk, and then he can use the potty chair once he's done learning to walk. Hopefully, he will not wet himself in the meantime. He's very close to to learning how to walk. Okay, let's see, Helen. So we have we have two more days. Are you going to use the bathroom or take a shower? We have two more days until spring. And even at that point, we won't be able to... To plant outside yet. Um, it's probably going to be another year before we're able to get the orchard thing going. It might even be the next generation before we can get the grandfather's tractor system. I don't know yet. Um, we're not going to really build the house up too much more until we well, we're going we're gonna to work on building the house up, but, you know, because we're going to have to have rooms for the other kids and whatnot. But, um, oh, wow, she's hungry. She's tired. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I think we might have to wait until tomorrow. Let's have you use the bathroom. And then could you please clean the toilet? Let's um, open this up and see if we have any food in here. We do have food in there, but not regular food let's have you come over here and serve dinner let's have um, veggie rolls because those are quick and then you can go to bed you are going to go work on the car okay that's fine you can do that and I probably will have Helen go and take this um, this honey to the consignment store. So she would like to have a girl, and I, th oh no, he wants a girl. I think she wants another boy. Yeah. <gasps> she did! She won the lottery! <laughs> she got by. Look at her, she's doing a little dance. Uh, she won $500 at the lottery. That's awesome. Okay, where are you going, Helen? You need to come make di make dinner. What are you going to do? Serve dinner, serve egg rolls, or veggie rolls. You've used the potty chair. Very good. You know how to walk. You know how to do all those things. When you are done making dinner, you can come and give him a um, bottle on the floor, feed on the floor, and then I can probably have um, Maximus put him in the crib. 
So that's cool. She won the lottery. So that was a good, a good thing. I mean, it was only $500, but you know what? Every little bit counts. I'm going to help you out and put that in there for you. She's going to have some veggie rolls here. And then I'm going to send her off to bed. Who's calling? Is it you? Answer your phone. Go ahead and answer the phone. Oh, and then you got to feed him on the floor. Yeah. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Did you answer the phone? Is it somebody? I guess it wasn't anybody important. Um, go ahead and finish eating these after you give him your bo the bottle. And then I suppose you could... I'll put that away for you. You could go ahead and put him in the crib after you finish eating. Maximus, how are you doing? You're going to need a basic workout. Really? Okay, yeah, come in here. Use the uh, bathroom. You can go ahead and eat some leftovers. You can eat some veggie rolls. And then you're probably going to need to go to sleep as well. What time did we take care of the bees? I don't know. Um, we'll have to take care of the bees tomorrow morning. He'll come in here and sleep after that. She's going to put him in bed, and then she's going to go to bed herself. Hopefully she does not go into labor this evening, because if she does, we're going to be in trouble. Actually, before you go to bed, I think I'm going to oh, need you to come in here and empty that, and then you can go to bed. So it's going to get so much easier once the next generation of um, coals starts to grow up. Um, we will have a lot more help in the out in the fields, and I think once he finishes that car, I'm not gonna I'm not going to ask him to to do the car. If he does the car on his own, then that's good. That's fine. We'll just let it let it go. Uh, you know, if he when he finishes it, he finishes it and whatnot. And then we'll have we'll have those funds. And possibly since that's going to probably be about fifty thousand dollars, I think, when he finishes that. Um, we might be able to get the grandfather's tractor at that point, but I don't know if we will or not. All right, so Helen, when you wake up, I'm going to need you to come on here and clean out the bad food. Somehow she's stuffed. I don't know how that happened. Um, your hunger wasn't even all the way up. That's weird. Okay, now you can go and clean out the potty seat. You want to chat with Anthony. Well, and Helen, how how much um, more do you have? Okay, you're at level nine. You still have a little bit to go. Those last couple of skill points, they take forever to, to master. So, yeah, I was going to go ahead and have her put some things in her stand, but I think I will wait until spring because it's kind of weird to have fruit in the stand when it's not even, when it's still snowing. Okay, what happened to going to bed? Thank you. Okay, so everybody's going to go to sleep. Excuse me. Everyone's going to go to sleep, and so time will speed through. When you wake up, the first thing you are going to do is come out here and take care of these bees. Let's see. We want to smoke the box, clean the box, feed the bees, and harvest the honey. Yes, that will be the first thing that we do. Helen, when you wake up, I think Anthony's going to be fine for a while. So you probably should come out. 
Oh, geez, the baby's coming. <laughs> All right. Um, I think she's just going to have to have the baby at home. Yeah, I know. We probably are going to need to put another crib in here. Um, yeah, let me do that really quick. I'm going to have to put a crib in here. Hopefully this is... Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that it takes a long time because of how we have the um, so many weeds. Let's go ahead and grab another one of these beds and we'll put it in here. Hopefully it won't take too long. There we go. Okay, so they are going to be having a baby. Now, I guess I should send them off to the hospital. Can I have her go to the hospital? Take her to the hospital. It's going to cost us $75, I think, because they're going to have to get a babysitter. But I think that we need to do that. Um... I'm glad she won $500 because we wouldn't have been able to afford that crib. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I might have to have them go play the lottery again uh, because that, uh, yes, call the babysitter. I know it's going to cost us money, but they're gonna. it's going to be quicker than having them stand there and have the baby. She'll be standing there screaming for a while. So Anthony is still sleeping. He is clueless to the fact that he has a baby brother or sister on the way. In fact, I should pull up my uh, name generator really quick. Um, do they have a name generator? I think I can't remember if they have a name generator in in Sims 3. I get so confused from one to the next. All right, but I'm going to pull up my name generator just in case so that we can have a name generated if we need to. All right, here's our babysitter. Oh, she's kind of cute. She's got a cute little outfit on. Her shoes don't really match her top, but all right. What kind of hair does she have? I think that's a I think that is a um futuristic hairstyle. It's kind of cute, though. All right, she's just going to stand there. Maybe I need to put a little chair in this room. Maybe I need to put the rocking chair in here. Maybe between episodes, I'll move the toys out. Okay, it's a baby girl. Okay, yes, I do need a name generator. So let me generate a baby girl's name. Um, Allison. We already have an A name, so do I really want another A name? I don't think so. Um, Julia. Okay, so baby girl. And she's a genius. Cool. And she's a virtuoso. All right. Except... Yeah, so I'll probably move the some of the children's toys out here. I might have to pack up some of these other things and put them away for now because, you know, when you have kids, you just have to make room, <laughs> I suppose. Okay, so he's he's captured the moment. So that's cool. They have a baby girl now, Julia and Anthony. So now you can go back to sleep. You, oh, she put him in the crib or put him in the playpen. Okay, so when you get home, you can go back to sleep. Let's see, what's she going to do? Oh, she's getting ready to leave, I think. She realizes that they're coming home and she can leave. Are you awake? Okay, so you probably need to put her in the bed. First, let's have you snuggle, Julia. Um, oops, hang on. Snuggle and give Julia a bottle and play with Julia and then you can, oh, woman driver. All right, put Julia in the crib. You can come out here and take care of the bees. Smoke and then you can take, then you can go to bed. 
I know it's not exactly ideal but why don't you do that and then I'd like you to sleep um, I'm gonna give her a day until I think when Julia is ages up to be a toddler I will let Helen get pregnant again she ages up in two days so hopefully that'll stall her her aging let's see what else um, you are doing good why don't you I, I'll pick up the laundry for you for right now do we have any clothes in the washer we do have clothes in the washer we are going to definitely need to convert this to a a laundry room at some point oh my goodness and it's too bad I don't think we're gonna have we're gonna have a basement in this house we're just gonna have to deal with the the size of the house it's it is what it is we have the barn if we need additional things in the house um, I think I'm gonna have her nap and then maybe when she wakes up from a nap then we will have them have a party for Anthony who will need to what is that is that trash yes it is I will take care of that um, so Helen could throw the party she has quite a few friends oh wow she's friends with the babysitter and she barely even <laughs> I don't even think she even met the babysitter anyway uh, well that is the end of this episode so we will definitely be having the birthday party in the next episode and Anthony will grow up to be a child yep it's his birthday too uh, so he will grow up to be a child and we'll just have Julia to take care of as a infant and then a toddler so thanks so much for watching I hope you are enjoying this let's play and I hope you will come back and check out the next one Bye for now.